Now I would like to call Dr. Krupal Goshi sir, IMA Gujarat to deliver a speech on role of young doctors in controlling NCD epidemic. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon all. So today my topic is role of young doctor to preventing the non-communicable disease epidemic. Now anybody any idea about what is epidemic? We have three terms in our community medicine. So one is endemic, second is epidemic and third is pandemic. So what is epidemic? Anyone? Any idea? Okay. Epidemic is total number of uh, new cases exceeding beyond the normal constant presence uh, of any disease in specific period of time in specific geographical area. Okay. So you just suppose total number of suppose in your Tamil Nadu total number of constant present of the typhoid cases are constant something around per monthly is uh, around 500 to 400 but yet rapidly rising in some period of time in specific season or in specific when the epidemic is occurred so we have to think uh, it is very alarming condition for us why because epidemic is something which is not normal am i right endemic is normal we all know but epidemic is something which is not normal so we have to think about that we have to prevent now we have to think about where is the epidemic is there we have to go to the secondary level of the prevention right so uh, anybody tell me uh, can tell me about the what is the uh, level of the prevention N uh, name the level of the prevention yes very good primary secondary tertiary and before that we have primordial prevention okay now in primordial prevention what we do prevention of the risk factor okay and then primary is risk factor is there but we are preventing the disease and minimize the uh, impact of the risk factor okay and then in secondary early diagnosis and treatment and followed by the tertiary sab kuch ho gaya. now we have to minimize the complication of the that specific impact or specific event or specific disease right so now we are on the epidemic phase of ncd okay so uh, let me tell you uh, covid is more danger road traffic accident is more danger yeah ncd is more dangerous road traffic okay anyone okay again i tell you we can prevent the road traffic accident by proper uh, rules and regulation covid is also not that much dangerous but ncd is more 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 dangerous than amongst all okay and india is the main hub so why we involve the young doctor because we have a young energies we have innovative minds we are using the social medias okay so we can do advocacy better way okay all those the uh, older people are also doing but the younger mind and innovative ideas are more appropriate to preventing this because we have to implement from the adolescent age group to youth to geriatric population because the risk factor uh, i think uh, we have a one incubation period and we have a latent period so when in incubation period we are thinking about the number of the enter of the miss any disease agent uh, enter in the body and when the symptoms is appear right this is the incubation that is the period between this it is called incubation period but yes what about the latent period when in non communicable risk factor is there but you have to uh, you don't know about the risk factor and when the disease is flare up then you have to take the appropriate action. So before we have to move that we are in the epidemic phase of NCD. So we have to do the primordial primary and secondary prevention along with all these activities. So involvement of the young doctor is far better and it is very impactful for in India. Okay. I am not going in this detail because already Dr. Ganesh sir is already mentioned very nicely. But yes, I have to, uh, this is the fact data over the 150 million young people smokes. That is the actual real uh, reference based data. 81 percentage of the adolescent don't gain enough fatty, uh, physical activity. Yes, we already, uh, I think uh, one of uh, our speaker already asked about the, have anyone uh, did any physical activity in last one year? So nobody, I think we are also the part of this. So this is the major uh, factor for epidemic of the NCD. 11.7 percentage of the adolescent protect the heavy epidemic drinking. Yes, drinking is also injurious to health, same as tobacco. Okay, and the 41 million children under fire of older are the overweight or obese. This is also very, very, very alarm condition for our India. Okay, now the key risk factor we all know. I am not going into detail, unhealthy lifestyle, we all know. Then demographic changes, yes, aging, environmental condition, environmental stages, demographic uh, in specific geographical area. Then uh, genetic is also play a key role for the uh, risk factor. Now what are the initiatives that government took? As we all know, the one program, name is NPC CDS, right? So uh, prevention of 
कंट्रोल ऑफ कैंसर डायबिटीज कार्डियोवेस्कुलर डिसीज एंड स्ट्रोक ओके नाउ व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट द नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज द मेजर वी थिंक अबाउट इज कार्डियोवेस्कुलर डिजीज मेजर डेथ ड्यू टू द कार्डियोवेस्कुलर डिजीज फॉलोड बाय द कैंसर देन क्रॉनिक रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीज एंड देन डायबिटीज सो दीज आर द मेजर रोल सो गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग देन देर इज वन ऑल्सो योजना इज अवेलेबल दैट नेम कॉल आयुष्मान भारत सो टू गिव द फ्री ट्रीटमेंट टू द बेनिफिशरी एंड ऑल्सो टबाको कंट्रोल मेजर डॉक्टर वेंकटेश इज नाइसली मैंसन सो आई एल नॉट गो इन टू द डिटेल नाउ द डिफरेंट कोलेबरेटिव एजेंसीज आर डूइंग वर्क टू प्रिवेंशन ऑफ द एन सी डीज लाइक डब्ल्यू एच ओ मिनिस्ट्री इज ऑल्सो डूइंग एज ऑलरेडी मैंसन इन प्रीवियसली स्लाइड देन सी एस ओस दे आर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड देन वी आर डूइंग द यंग पीपल मस्ट टूक पार्ट इन द एडवोकेसी देन इन रिसर्च बिकॉज एविडेंस बेस्ड मेडिसिन इज प्ले अ की रोल सो इफ वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट टू प्रिवेंशन ऑफ द एन सी डी वी हैव टू सी द थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री आस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रिवेंटिव आस्पेक्ट राइट ओके नाउ वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस फेस इज बाई द गवर्नमेंट दट इज द लिमिटेड फंडिंग सो नाउ वी हैव टू वी हैव लोड्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी आर दे आर गिविंग द फंडिंग एंड दे आर नॉट इवन आस्किंग अबाउट एनी थिंग दे आर नॉट आस्किंग अबाउट अवर डेटा दे आर नॉट आस्किंग अबाउट एनी थिंग फ्रॉम द इंडिया सो वी हैव टू टू हेल्प अप फॉर द टू ओवरकम दिस चैलेंजेस एंड देन हेल्थ हेल्थ केयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर गैप वी डू हैव हेल्थ केयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर गैप बिकॉज एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव टू पुल अवर द रिसोर्स इज देयर एंड येस मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज अवेरनेस एंड बिहेवियर चेंज आई थिंक द मैडम इज नाइसली मैंसन अबाउट द बिहेवियर चेंज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज बिहेवियर चेंज कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज द मेन की रोल टू ओवरकम दिस चैलेंजेस now the multi sectoral uh, partnership we already mentioned coordination and resource mobilization yes very good now we have to focus uh, we also know we know the in past during the covid time all the resources are mobilized to prevent the covid epidemics right so lockdown is one of the another but but all the departments have to work for covid only all the uh, front line worker health line worker and any other uh, population so resource mobilization is play a key role so uh, for that we also require the resource mobilization and most important advocacy and awareness before we have to overcome the behavior change okay so now what the young doctors young doctors can do the education they can educate the people local community by educating i also remember that the no one is doing physical activity but we can plan one campaign to do regular exercise campaign to healthy food lifestyle some uh, i think we all are uh, dealing with the lots of people and uh, you are the young doctor you have to deal with the community so these are the changes uh, one minor change will become very good initiative for uh prevention of this epidemic then early intervention as we i already discussed and community outreach okay now this is early diagnosis and timely intervention that is we are in the second phase of the prevention so this is most important for the young doctor to do the screening program health screening program now this is the youth parliament and i think our prime minister is also says that india is because of our youth right so we have to prevent this as a ncd uh, i strongly suggest that we can prevent this ncd or reduce the morbidity and mortality by the non communicable disease by uh, these three major activities screening program personalized care and multidisciplinary approach okay so these are the approach by holistic approach collaborative care and empowering patient okay now uh, nowadays one very nice concept is telemedicine any idea about telemedicine what is telemedicine consultation by uh, uh, there are two phases one is patient uh, to doctor and one is doctor to doctor in doctor to doctor the tertiary level hospital like ams or like uh, district hospital solve the problem of the uh, primary level hospital okay and uh, in the patient to doctor when the any patient can directly approach the doctor those who are available on the telemedicine i think it is available for private practitioner also so telemedicine is the major role to prevent the ncd okay when uh, we see that the awareness of the rural area is i think uh, ganesh sir is also already mentioned the very uh, nicely in uh, his slide that the hypertension is diagnosed and treated and all these things so if we know and if we get proper guidance by telemedicine we can at least prevent the Uh, epidemic or we can minimize the impact of the epidemic okay then data analysis now we have a, in young doctor we have a proper software 
proper uh, uh, resources available, internet is easily available, and nowadays one more thing, AI is also available. So we can use to analyze the data and reduce and uh, decentralize. In some area, there is some another problem, so see, we can analyze the data on the basis on geographical uh, problems. Okay, then wearable design. I think we all know about the smartwatch and nowadays it is very easily available. So we can track our patient too and we can modify the medicine and we can also start or stop the medicine on the basis of this device. Now, advocacy as we, I already mentioned, so I am not going into this, but yes, this is the my key home take home message. The young doctor, so as educators, that is most important, advocates, counselor, researcher and role model to preventing the NCD and they can do by community education, early detection efforts, lifestyle counseling, policy, advocacy, research and personal example. Now it is something, may, miss, ek, may I, I just tell you when I was in intern and I just said that when I posted in the skin department, uh, I saw the uh, one of the assistant professor is suffering from skin disease. I said, how? That is the role model. So we have to think that if I am obese, I can't say anything else. Am I right or wrong? Okay, so this is the main key. Okay, we have to become the role model for NCD and youth can prevent the NCD epidemic. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir.